subscribe now. EU debates. Θέλω να ευχαριστήσω από την καρδιά μου. My dear colleague, I would like to thank from the bottom of my heart the colleagues from the European Parliament. They discovered the wiretapping of my mobile phone and as we discovered later, an independent authority which was founded because of our party had started to officially tap my mobile phone on exactly the same dates. This lasted during the, the period of the election of the period before the election of uh, the PASOK leader. So they were targeting the autonomy of PASOK. The Prime Minister called on me to, again yesterday to go and get informed by the National Intelligence Service uh, because of something that happened because of his government. And as we know, the day when the complaint was lodged, my file was destroyed. Why? So we want to learn in a legal and transparent manner the reasons why this happened. So according uh, to law 3649 of 2008, uh, the uh, prime minister who is responsible for, uh, for the, uh, the uh, situation should reveal the reasons why of the wiretapping instead of creating a toxic atmosphere. So we need uh, to divulge all those who are related to the use of this malware. We tried last week in Greece, but the government majority rejected our request. This is not a personal issue, as I have said right from the start. It's an issue of transparency and democracy. The intelligence services should protect democracies from spyware not uh, wiretap. Nothing can happen in darkness. The uh, secrecy stops where accountability and transparency are uh, required. We cannot uh, have uh, people who are uh, politicians, uh, judges, uh, journalists, or even simple citizens uh, wiretapped. This is the uh, rights of uh, indiv individuals against uh, uh, vague authority. My dear colleagues, we are going through a difficult period in Europe. Uh, Putin and Erdogan and leaders like them are uh, questioning democracy. And some people who condemn them at the same time copy their practices. The following of journalists, the trapping of political opponents is not a European way of life. This is not part of the rule of law. We need a new institutional framework that will protect everybody in Europe from the such actions on behalf of the authorities. So I call upon the European Parliament and all of my, and all my colleagues to proceed in a pioneering manner to protect the rights and the dignity of all European citizens. Thank you very much.